We've got so many calls for you, for Graham, you Graham. Let's go really to see. Elaine first of all. Elaine, good morning. How are you? Good, mo good morning. I'm Ma well, thank Elaine, you. Elaine, I want you to tell me about Alfie. Alfie's a beagle, right? So yes, brief, briefly right. just tell me what the problem is, and then I know we've got a bit of a video to, to illustrate that problem. So tell us about Alfie. Well, he's a willful, stubborn beagle, and he does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Okay. And he thinks that he is pack leader and we're part of his pack. Uh, okay, he's, he's the, the leader boss. of the pack. Graham, uh, to demonstrate what Elaine is talking about, please have a look at this video. Could you come off my bed? Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, lazy boy. <laughs> come on. No, this is my bed, not your bed. Come on. <laughs> You are such a sausage. <laughs> well, that's the nicest telling off I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it was a nice telling off, wasn't it? I mean, it doesn't need to be nasty. Now, now, beagles are famously stubborn at the best of times, but what's happening there is there's a lovely tone of voice going on, and he's getting a bonus cuddle as well for not coming off the bed. So I think what we need to do is, was first of all think, well, actually, do we need him in the bedroom? Sometimes prevention is better than cure. Just just shut the door. But once you've got that problem, well, we, we don't want to be brutal with him and drag him off the bed. But the, the key thing is that when he does move and it may be that you just have to wait for a while, then we praise him for getting off the bed. Um, OK, first thing, Elaine, can, yeah. do you think you can keep him out of the bed in the first place? Um, I can sometimes, but not all the time. When okay. he gets in there, it's a difficult business to get him okay. out. But I, I have tried being very stern with him, and uh, it, he, it doesn't work. I've tried all voices. So Give us your stern Alfie's... voice, Elaine. Say, Alfie, get off that bed. Give me, let's see how stern you'd be. Alfie, off. Oh, and it's he okay. just looks at me. It's, he just it, looks the, at me the, as if, why should I? The, the problem with that is it's bordering on panicky, really. It's a bit too excited. So, so what it, would you say? It needs to be a bit more. Alfie, off. Come on. Now, just your voice won't work. You also need the look on your face. And I could see there, well, I could just sense you, there's a bit of sort of almost laughing going on and smiling. So you really need a look um, a bit more. Hey, how, no. how stern, Graham? Because people well, kind of, yeah. they find it hard because we adore our pets. Sure. We adore yeah. them. It, it's quite hard, isn't it, to really kind of bark at a dog? Well, I adore my children, but I'd still bark at them. Yeah. Well, people do, probably more than their parents. Well, and that's the point. If you think of the look that your mum gave you when you were a really naughty girl... With the ring. It's frightening. You wouldn't want to see that look. That's the look you want. It doesn't need to be aggressive, but it okay. needs to be, don't mess with me. OK, Elaine, that's it. You've, You've got, got to, to get be tougher. Alfie, don't mess with me. And OK, do Elaine? the good bit. OK, we've got Amy. Thanks, Elaine. Good luck. Um, 